Baseball is one of the most romantic sports, but for some reason, the lore of Angel Stadium is often forgotten. This building in Orange County, tucked between two freeways right down the street from Disneyland, was the site of so many amazing baseball and football moments. Yeah, let's go Giants! Three World Series last decade, Woo! Fireworks at the Big A. Welcome to Variety. We're here in Anaheim at Angel Stadium, home of the Anaheim Angels. That's right, Anaheim, not Los Angeles. And of course, Kyle's in the building, checking off another stadium. Never been here before. I've been outside about right here, but I've never gone inside. That's right, we're finally at the Big A, huh? Watch the halos. This Big A sign that you can see from the freeway was originally an outfield scoreboard. It was moved out here and preserved. A lot of cool history with this giant A. We're gonna talk more about the history of the Angels and the history of this amazing ballpark. Like I've said with the Candlestick, Oakland Coliseum, there's very few of these mid-century concrete monstrosities left. It's been beautified a bit, but deep down underneath. <laughs> It's still there, yeah? Yes, sir. Let's get in there. And uh, you know, the elephant in the room, yes. They beat us in 2002. Am I over it? Absolutely not. Not even no. kinda. No. Rally monkey. Am I bitter at this team? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm a big Disneyland fan. When Disney owned the team, oh, you guys are cool. I want an Angels hat. And then 2002 happened, you know? You guys can get lost now, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, but you've won three championships since then, so? <laughs> Could have been four. Yeah. <laughs> Am I in the game, dude? Am I pitching? Hey, no, no. <laughs> I'm not very limber. Uh, everyone knows the giant hats outside of Angel Stadium. It's a size 649 and a half, just slightly smaller than Cole's hat size. <laughs> Perfectly. <laughs> That's a noggin, huh? That's a, yeah. That's a noggin. That's a noggin, man. That kid's got a noggin. <laughs> That's a 10 gallon head right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. You think this is the, the coolest home plate gate in baseball? It's pretty up there. It might be. This is awesome. They got the hats, they got the baseball bats. I mean, this is a grand entrance, I'll tell you that much. Cole has been to a game or two here. I beat you to it. Yeah, so this is yeah. the one stadium he's got over me, mm. and that ends tonight. <laughs> the dream ends tonight. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll show you around. Huh? Sometime last year, they had to yank down the Shohei poster up here. I'm not an Angels fan. I'm not a Dodgers fan. In fact, an anti-fan. <laughs> but I will never forgive Shohei Otani for going to the Dodgers. Never. Ever in a million years. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a tough move right there. Weak move. Mm -hmm. One of the criticisms most often heard about Angel Stadium is its location. It's in between two freeways. It's surrounded by strip malls, not too far from Disneyland. It has been built up and there's been some attractions added, but there isn't a whole lot to see around the stadium. Besides the Duck Pond, aka the Honda Center, home of the NHL's Mighty Ducks. I'm guessing it's Gene Autry. Yep, Gene Autry. Good old Gene. This is bolo time, dude. Yeah. I didn't know this place had inner sanctums. <laughs> <laughs> Cool batter's eye here. So 
the rock work and the foliage. And actually when Disney owned the team, Disney Imagineers helped redesign this park. So that's Disney Imagineer handiwork there. What is this, Disneyland or a ball game? <laughs> Feels like Disneyland. Feels like Disneyland. Hey, you can't find the entrance to Grizzly Peak River Run Rapids. <laughs> If you just like block out everything else, yeah, you feel like you're at Disneyland, right? Yeah. <laughs> of the channel will remember that LA Coliseum trip. Niners at Rams. I'm going to offer to get something in this. That's a good slice of pie there. You know what I mean? Gold lover. <laughs> The Angels were one of two of the first Major League Baseball expansion teams. They were founded in 1961 by country music star and actor Gene Autry. They were originally Los Angeles Angels and they played at Wrigley Field, not in Chicago. There was a Wrigley Field in Los Angeles for their first season in 1961. Then they played at Dodger Stadium for, I think, four seasons. And then in 1966, Angel Stadium here opened down in Anaheim and they were renamed the California Angels. The original configuration of the stadium was much like this open the big a was the scoreboard in the outfield and then the los angeles rams came to play here in 1980 and they enclosed it so it looked a lot like candlestick park fully enclosed stadium and then when the rams moved to st louis eventually they renovated the stadium they reopened it back up made it more like a baseball configuration again and, and beautified it you know even though the angels only have one world series title they have a very rich deep history Multiple MVPs, rookies of the year, actually a surprising amount. Tons of gold gloves. Nolan Ryan set the single season record for most strikeouts on September 27th, 1973 at Angel Stadium. He also threw number three and four of his record seven no-hitters right here in Anaheim. Rod Carew got his 3,000th hit right here. Albert Pujols hit number 600 here via a grand slam. Don Sutton won his 300th game here. You had rookies of the year like Tim Salmon, Cy Young Award winners like Bartolo Colon. You had MVPs like Vladimir Guerrero. And of course, Mike Trout and Shohei Otani more recently. Mike Trout is still on the team. He's injured right now. Otani, like the big jerk he is, went to the Doyers. Reggie Jackson hit his 500th home run as an angel right here in 1984. Interestingly, his first major league home run was exactly 17 years prior to the day as a member of the Kansas City Athletics against the Angels right here at Angel Stadium. The Los Angeles Rams called what was then known as Anaheim Stadium home from 1980 to 1994. In that span, they made the playoffs seven times and made the NFC Championship game twice. In 1983, Eric Dickerson won Offensive Rookie of the Year for the Rams. He also won Offensive Player of the Year in 1986, but most notably on December 9th, 1984, right here at Anaheim Stadium, he broke OJ Simpson's single season rushing record. And continuing the tradition of the Rams having great running backs, Jerome Bettis won Offensive Rookie of the Year while the Rams played right here at Anaheim Stadium in 1993. Bad baby. In classic greater Los Angeles fashion. There's a lot of late covers to this game. Gamer Athletics and Gamer Girlfriend Natalie bullied me into trying to get these cookies. So we got in line. We missed a Jose Ramirez home run for him. So they better be good or I'm coming after you. <laughs> yeah. Funky. 
for $28 cookies. They're pretty good. Yeah, get one hot and fresh. Let me try one of those there. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm not gonna lie, dude. As a fan experience thing, like this is kind of rude. You know what I mean? A little gauche, Anaheim Angels. A little tacky. Have some humility. <laughs> you just got it on display. That's pretty cool, dude. Love you just to catch the last out. That out sucks. <laughs> haunts my dreams. I'd be enjoying a case like this so much more if it wasn't for the opponent. Troy Gloss, dude. Forgot about him. They even got him going down Main Street, USA at Disneyland. Like, come on. Stop rubbing it in. baseball person you made me wonder why the rally monkey bothers me so much in 2002 angels played the giants in the world series and they had the dreaded rally monkey stuffed monkeys that they used to bring the energy bring the crowd back into it at one point the giants were five outs away from their first world series in san francisco angels because of that monkey rallied back and ended up winning the series and i was heartbroken Okay. Rally monkey! Oh, he's having a great year. Controversial former giant Hunter Strickland is pitching now. for the Giants! In Southern California, they do silly things like play with beach balls at the baseball games. Very, very unserious fans. <laughs> recently and I shook his hand. How awesome is that? JT Snow. Liz. Mike Trout wore this helmet while hitting his 300th career home run. I got the saber I have. Jim Edmonds had one of the best catches of all time with the Angels when he sprawled out like he was flying. Last time I saw him pitch live was when the Cubs came back to eliminate us from the 2016 playoffs. <laughs> ah. I don't blame Matt Moore, though. He pitched pretty good in that game, but our bullpen blew it, and we got eliminated. But the good news is Cubs went on to eliminate the Dodgers, and then they beat this team right here, the Guardians, when they were called the Indians, to win their first World Series in 100 and what? 116 years? 100 oh. You. Bottom of the ninth, four to three game. Angels are down. I just want an exciting conclusion. You know.
with some better yeah. seats. Just like Candlestick with the steps, a lot like the Coliseum too, the Oakland Coliseum. Overall, I give this place a thumbs up. It's not my favorite, you know, it's still old enough. It's got that that funk, that stench yeah. that I, that I yeah. love of old Absolute ballparks. horrid stench. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, I love it. I love it. It's very reminiscent of Candlestick, Oakland Coliseum, things like that. So it's cool. There's so much history here, so many MVPs, and Cy Young Award winners, rookies of the year, tons of history in this place. And obviously, I want these places to last as long as possible. Angels and the Angels fan base are dealing with an owner that's not super popular, which seems to be a trend around Major League Baseball and professional sports. I am wearing my last dive bar wristband in support of the fans who have to deal with cheap, terrible, selfish owners, and the Angels are another team that's sort of dealing with that. Maybe not to the same level as the Oakland A's fans, but still not the best situation here in Anaheim. So Angels fans, I would give you a tough time because of 2002, but you know, when it comes to fans, I will always support fans over ownership, over these billionaires that just do not seem to care about anything but their bottom line. They will pretend to care, do not trust people like John Fisher and Vivek and Artie Moreno. This was my ninth ballpark. This was your? Seventh. Seventh. Yeah. He had this one on me. He had it on me. Oh yeah. And I just kicked him off the ledge, dude. <laughs> Look, a lot of people are checking off more. They're they're beating us, right? They're passing us up. I'm looking at you, Gabe. First of all, we live 500 miles apart, so we can't do it all together, right? That's why I'm ahead of them. We're also doing all sports. All of them. All, all of them. Badminton. <laughs> Lacrosse. <laughs> Jinx. You owe me Dave's hot chicken. <laughs> Yeah, so if you count arenas and football games, we're blowing you out of the yeah. water. Yeah, we're taking the game. Yeah, our sports playlist is getting fat. It's getting chunky. It is. Are we talking the the Angels? The California Los Angeles <laughs> slash this is Anaheim <laughs> slash Orange. Yeah, this is Orange County District 32. This is the Los Angeles Orange County California Angels, Southern of California, <laughs> Southwest United States, North America. American Angels, right here. <laughs> in there, dude. dude, Kip Moore's in there shredding still. Yeah, they had a concert after the game, which is pretty cool, and a fireworks show. I mean, it's three shows in one day. Yeah. I only had to buy one ticket. Yeah. <laughs> talking ball games here. That's it for Angel Stadium here in Anaheim, California, down the street from Walt Disney's original Magic Kingdom. Check the sports playlist. We've done a bunch of other cool videos at sports venues and historic places, and it's a whole variety of things, a little something or other. Pull this, pull that. <laughs> We've gone to places like Candlestick Park, the Oakland Coliseum, Globe Life Field, Globe Life Park. So check that out if you like historic places. We do that too. Ghost towns, Wild West stuff, cool museums, you know, all kinds of stuff. Check it out. There's a Patreon and a members only VIP on this channel with behind the scenes, secret episodes I'm not allowed to put out publicly, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you'd like to support the channel, get us to more ballparks. Go ahead and subscribe and you get some cool videos along with it. Okay? Heck yeah. Uh -huh. Variety show with two Vs on Instagram and we also have a Discord server where we yap and chat. The link will be in the description. Alright? Vamos Gigantes. Like, subscribe, share, do all the cool things cool kids do. Something or other tours now. Variety. Merla. Really, monkey? Oh, that wasn't even filming. It's a good practice. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thanks for coming out, guys. Get up. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> what if you hit that button? Just a home run celebration. <laughs> Music plays. Lights are flashing. Sell the team. Sell the team. Sell the team. <laughs>